A serial killer is terrorizing the normally sleepy this streets of Salem. This of a bell has been left at the scene of several murders Leading over the past few police to refer to the weeks. murderer as the bell killer. We spoke with a public relations officer. Authorities are asking anyone with any leads to contact this the SPD's anonymous tip line. This picture of a bell, the calling tip line. part, the police have yet to attach no any meaning or significance to it. It has become synonymous and with no the hysteria surrounding these murders. You're saying there are no leads? No leads at all? grow up on the streets, you start thinking you're invincible. Nothing can touch you. You never really lose. Go to arrest some freak, find out you aren't as invincible as you thought. What kind of name is Ronan? That kid stole my wallet! Time to make it official. Dad, it hurts! You steal my car, you pay the price. Uh -huh. under arrest for the assault and battery of Vincent Coulter. Guilty on two counts of grand theft auto. On the indictment of burglary. Grand larceny and assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> Let me take it. <laughs> I can't have my sister marrying some bum, right? They do. Oh, yeah, I do. No. No, Julian. Stay with me, you hear me? Julia. No, stay with me. Stay with me. Your family wore felonies like badges of honor. Now you think this new badge covers all that up? You're a fucking criminal. You need to slow down, man. Right? This is crazy. I didn't know better. So you actually want to die. Turn around. You're under arrest. <gasps> you down kick your ass damn it The knob ain't even moving, it's stuck. Ah. Oh. Watch it, oh, lady. God. No. No, 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 no. in my body, then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll wake up.
Come on. Someone had to hear that glass shatter. I found you. Oh my God. Julia. I thought I'd never see you again. You look good. <laughs> I look better. God, I've missed you. I would give anything to be there with you. For us to be together again. But, but what? Not again, not you. If you're not here, where are you? It's the other side of the bridge. Bridge? What, what bridge? Where you are is a prison. Or a bridge. It all depends on how you see it. Either way, where you are isn't safe. Do you hear me? We need to get you across the bridge. You need to move on. Move on? Is that where you are? Don't worry about me. Something about your life isn't finished yet. We don't have much time. Think. What about your life feels unresolved? I don't know. <laughs> Figure that out. Now go. No. Julia, you left me once and it destroyed me. Please, please don't leave me again. We'll see each other again, love. Just save yourself. No, no, no Julia! Damn it! Hello? There's a man in the street outside the Regal Apartments bleeding. He's been shot. Send an ambulance. He's not breathing. My friend says he's not breathing. I can't feel a pulse. There's broken glass everywhere and a lot of oh, blood. Man. This is bad. Yeah, I'll stay on the line until help arrives. Hey, man. Can you hear me? Lady, please! Yeah. <sighs> 
Why did you run? It gets old, giving counsel to the new ones. Don't take it personal. Running through walls, making things appear. You, you look like you've been here a while. You must know how this place works then. <laughs> works? This place isn't hard to understand. Figure out your gifts and maybe you won't get trapped here. What do you mean, gifts? Your strengths in life are stronger in death. They become powers here. Some power is unique, some common. Possession, influencing people, manipulating the more fragile of ghostly objects to appear or disappear. Strengths become abilities. Huh. <sighs> what do you want to know? I thought you had some questions for me. Who are you? Looks like you've been here a while. Me? I'm just someone like you. But hear me when I say this is no playground. You can rob yourself of your future, or others can do it for you. Don't be shy. Ask me anything. What's taking so long? Cat got your tongue? What do you mean others can steal my future? Demons. They were once like us but lost themselves. They can never move on now and exist only to consume those lingering here. Those like us. I getcha. <sighs> what do you want to know? I thought you had some questions for me. The door just hit me, but I'm passing through other stuff. What is it with this place? I thought I'd be able to walk through everything. We can't enter the buildings the people of Salem have consecrated. Save through an opening. An open door or a window. But once inside, walls and doors hold no power over us. You'll know the ghostly objects we can't pass through by their blue glow. It will all seem logical in due time. No, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. How could I rob my own future? You're here to resolve something. You don't resolve it, you don't leave. Don't worry, that's pretty common. Common? That's crazy. So, I need to figure out who killed me and stop him. That's the way I can get out of here. Well, best of luck to you. Wait, 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 wait. there's more I need to know. Be careful out there. You never know what's waiting around the corner. Weird.
Seeing your own body lying on the street. It's like looking in a mirror you don't want to see but can't turn away from. And that's when you realize you no longer know which one's real and which is the reflection. Great idea, Baxter. Tamper with the evidence. Backup? Who needs backup? <laughs> you shouldn't have tried to be one of us. <laughs> Man, you were one dumb son of a bitch. <clears throat> Sir? Hey, 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 Baxter, hey, hey, just get back to taking them statements. Come on. Yeah, I'm the stupid one. Look, this is not your scene, Lieutenant. Just pay your specs and move on, please. Yeah, maybe it's not my scene, but it is my case. Tomorrow it'll be my case, and the next day, until we catch him. You do well to remember that, Sergeant. Look, I'm just following Captain's orders here. You know the procedure when a family member is... Yeah, well... Take all the time you need, LT. I lost count of the times I wished you were dead. Do me a favor, con man. Tell Julie I miss her. She knows, Rex. She knows. I need to find my killer's trail before it goes cold. I need to get my eyes on Stuart's notepad. See what they've learned. So did you did you see the man in the hood? Yes. I saw him. He killed that man in the street. Our city. Look at all these people. It's gonna be fun. It'd be nice to know what they're talking about. I gotta see if they found any leads that I don't already know about. Clues here have gotta tell me something.
what to do. I mean, that's, why has this always happened to me? I used to come home and get a nice dinner. What a night, huh, Robinson? Yeah. Crazy. Ronan, unbelievable. I don't get it. What was he even doing here? Asking for it. A witness called in saying he saw the bell killer enter a building. Ronan responds, disregards orders for backup. <laughs> Next thing you know, the bell killer tried to see if he could make him sprout angel wings. And then, bam, 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 bam. Really Seven have... to the chest, you really point have... blank. You really have no idea when to quit, do you, Baxter? <laughs> Ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than cop. Yeah, you live like a thief, you die like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. Man in the hood. Outside. Uh, looking up at, at the top apartment on the fourth floor, I think. have some clues. So that's my way in. That's closed. Fantastic. Here's my chance. I just need to follow Stuart into the building. Hey, excuse me. Do I need to wait for someone to open a door every time I want to go inside? Yeah, any buildings that were consecrated can be a bit tricky getting into, but once you're inside, it's smooth sailing. Same goes for getting out. Open doors, windows, whatever. It's all fair game. How many buildings are like this? Around here? Pretty much all of them. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Thanks. Trying to give me another heart attack? No, I, I just... It was rhetorical for God's sake. Come on, don't look so lost. Take a look around or something. You know, spy a little. It's not like anyone's gonna stop you.
confused. You look lost. What's lost is my body. I know I got killed right here. And I know it sounds crazy, but but I'd feel a lot better if if I knew where my body was. Are you a detective or something? You might be my only hope. Yeah, I'm a detective. Any idea who did it? That might lead us to your body. I know they were old people, and I know they lived in this apartment building. Other than that, everything is hazy. But I was doing a lot of drugs at the time. Sounds like you do need a detective. I'll see what I can find out from any older residents of the building. Honey, they can probably hear you talking through the ceiling. I hope they do. Every time we visit Jennifer at this place, it's the same weird characters. That other lady on the second floor. She changes boyfriends like she changes sweaters. You know what else? Those guys on the third floor? You think they, they, they were trying to raise the dead? Speaking of dead, I'm sure I have shots on the God, I wish you were with this moment. Are you listening to me? I need you to listen to me. Yeah, sorry, dearie. Raise the dead. G give them shots. Yes. Staring out the window. What good's that gonna do?
collapsed like paper when Grace hit her. I still can't believe she died. It happened so fast. I've never seen Grace so crazy before. It must have been the lack of sleep. Thank God it's all over. I can finally watch TV in peace. sleep through music blasting like that. I think she was on drugs. Walter was so tired, he could barely stay awake for the five miles it took to drive to Smithwick Quarry. I couldn't believe he was able to find a pair of lock cutters that late at night. At least the music has stopped. Now we can finally sleep. Grace couldn't take the girls partying anymore, so she killed her, her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwick Quarry. I should get back and let her know. Turns out, the reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwick Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh. Well, why'd they do it? The parties were keeping them awake at night. They finally got too tired and snapped. I, I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. They were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. <laughs> <laughs> 